So the P70W, sometimes people look at this and think, well, why is it so big? You know, the A70 was small, sleek. Uh, we had a subwoofer, sure, but look at the bar. Um, well, this is what happens when you try to build the subwoofer into uh, the sound bar itself. So the size of the P70 is really optimized to achieve what would be an acceptable higher limit for your bass. So it still gives you enough that you can ex enjoy the full range of music and you can still watch movies with it. It doesn't give you the same bass that an A70 would because the A70 subwoofer is larger and it's able to reproduce lower notes. But the P70 we really wanted to create to allow people to have a single box solution. Uh, so it's all in one, the subwoofer is built into it. And you can kind of see, well, if you were to combine the A70 and the subwoofer in some way, squish them together, you'd get some, something of a similar volume uh, to the P70W. Uh, and it's really impossible to build in a subwoofer uh, into it in a product that's any smaller than that. You can get uh, sound bars that sound as bassy as the P70 at low listening levels, uh, but not at the levels that are achievable using the P70. So that's where the design Kind of inspiration came from. We really wanted to create a product that was an all-in-one solution that still gave you uh, a decent amount of bass. Also allows you to have flexible mounting options. You can have it in either orientation as I imagine most of you know uh, and uh, it doesn't affect the sound quality. Again the P70 is 70 millimeters long uh, which again is optimized um, Sorry, did I say 70 centimeters long? Uh, so it's optimized for that width for air sound reproduction. 